All right. <laughs> Where do we start? Well, good morning, Jules Das. Good morning. Welcome to Texan Translation. Thank you. I, I we're sort of having a competition to see who can wear the most Texasy shirt. <laughs> I I think we're tied. <laughs> I bet I bet you I bet you win. This is I was pretty proud of this until I came in and saw that you have Texas. I don't know, that's the chest. pride right here. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So um, tell us a little bit, bit about yourself. Where are you from? Gabon. G-A-B-O-N. Central Africa, Central West Africa by the ocean. Okay. A very small country. Actually two million people. Yeah. Very, very small compared to Texas, right? <laughs> well, yeah, it's in Africa. And uh Capital city is Libreville. Libreville. Yes. And um, what's a what's a country like? Mountains, uh, plains, there's, forest. There's a lot of savanna, and it's tropical. Big forest. Uh, that's actually part of uh, one of the country's riches. Yeah. Yes. Uh, the forest and uh, the savanna lakes. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of lakes, and most important is the sea, the waterfront. Of the country is where everything started, you know, with slavery, mm -hmm. discovery of the of the country. Mm -hmm. It's actually what was made by a freed slave. That's what they call the the main capital city, Libreville. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> That's right, Libreville, which means free city. Yeah. City of the free. In in French. In French. So French is one of the languages spoken there. French is. The uh, official language okay. spoken there. There's several of them. Uh, we go from 28 to 48 languages. Wow. Yes. Do you speak fr French and English and what else? Okay, French and English, I would say fluently. I, would, I may say Vili. Vili. V I L E L I. That's my mother's language. Okay. Well, I mean, one of us because we we consider families like a tree right yeah and as a tree family has many branches and among the branches are different parts of the family coming from fathers grandfathers grandmothers mm -hmm. and in that you have different cultures too because for my mom i may say i have about six cultures wow yes which means that might go over twelve languages. <laughs> so, 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 but 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 seriously, uh, I will I would speak when I'm forced to, because I was raised in a city, and in yeah. the city my mother was speaking French most of the time. But I have my grandma. Luckily, she was speaking tongues, in tongues, and and we had to learn that language if we wanted to communicate with her. Wow. She was doing it with purpose, because she spoke. Fluently French, but she didn't want to speak it to us. Yeah, she wanted to pass on your ancestral language. That 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 that's what I understood later on. That's cool. So uh, she she would speak to us, and she would force it to answer. Yeah, and we learned that way. And my my grandfather spoke Norwegian, but they didn't pass it on to me at all. I, that would the be language a, died with their generation. Oh here. wow! But so I'm glad she did that. But you, you have a, a big background yourself right? in languages. <laughs> it's <laughs> it's yes. my hobby. <laughs> yes. So for my mother, I have Vili. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. yeah. I have Punu. Punu. It's another language because she has that blood. Mm -hmm. And my grandmother was speaking both. For my father, I have Lumbu. Lumbu. Yes. And from aunt, I have another Lumbu that is uh, different from the Lumbu for my father. Different regions. Because the regions are different. Huh. But it's, they're called, it's called the same. They are not spoken the same at all. <laughs> so I, I'm, I'm just fascinated by, by the variety of languages in, in a single country. Mm -hmm. And I wonder, do you ever, now that you live in the U.S., do you yes. ever hear somebody speaking in public and you, you realize that's one of the languages of Gabon? Yes. I, what do you do? <laughs> I, 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 I mean, you, you are so stunned yeah. that you're like, are you from Gabon? <laughs> you are from Gabon. But uh, the most languages that I've heard are from the north of Gabon, which mm -hmm. is Fang, yeah. uh, which I understand yeah. because of, you know, I'm a, I'm a language freak. I do 
I'm a language maniac. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do love languages. Yeah. So when I uh, mingle with people, the first thing that I want to understand is the language because the language is the culture mm-hmm. of the person. If you understand the culture, you know how to deal with them. So I, uh, I, I, had, a, I had a good history of, of being friends with different cultures. And in Gabon, most uh, in the north, I love the language Fang that I understand because I have family there, uh, especially Bitam and Oyem. Those are two cities okay. in, in, in the north of Gabon. So yeah, uh, in the north, the Fang. So Cameroon, which is a neighboring country, mm-hmm. and the south speak Fang also because the, the, the uh, borders are just lines, right? Yeah. The cultures are can be sprayed. They're, they're organic. They just grow where they want. Exactly. <laughs> so, so, so there's a lot of Cameroonians in, in, in the United States and in Texas. So, so uh, is it more likely you'll hear someone from Cameroon? From Cameroon, okay. and they'll be speaking fun. Like, are you are you from Gabon? <laughs> they're, they're like, why? No, oh, but I know Gabon. That's <laughs> that's just south of my country, and, cool. and, and that's that starts like the, the the conversation. Yeah, and yeah. it's so funny how languages can be uh, a drive for multiple avenues so yes sometimes it happens that i meet people that with colleagues cool. yeah um other than texas where else have you lived in the united states texas just texas yes <laughs> that's, right. that's my home <laughs> and, and how did you get here like why did you choose to move here i had a very good friend of mine that would go that was she was going to school here in Texas Southern University in mm-hmm. Houston. And I wanted to further my education. I needed to add some more background to it. Uh, so I decided I wanted to go back. Mm-hmm. And my two sisters were living and studying in France, which is the go to uh, uh, place for people from Gabon because of culture and the language because we have that French heritage mm-hmm. that we uh, that we 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 love and sometimes we we more familiar with yeah. so we prefer to go to France to further any studies but my sister said yeah man why don't you stay here because I went to visit her in Paris and uh, I felt like I needed to add something to my background, especially the language, English. Uh-huh. And I thought, you know, my friend Evelyn is going to Texas out and, and they say, and she said, I can be accepted over there for the major that I want to go to because my base major is, is marketing. Mm-hmm. And she, she told me good about Texas, similarities with the tropical uh, wind that we have yeah, near the coast, near the coast, doesn't get cold. Exactly. I mean, I thought so. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> it's colder than you're expecting. <laughs> exactly. So I thought, you know, let me give you the shot. Yeah. And having an English background is is good. Now I have to I had to pick also between British and American English. Uh, I prefer the American. <laughs> <laughs> because I mean it's just because Texas uh, I just started to talk about Texas and and it became like an adventure in my head mm-hmm. I wanted to discover more especially about barbecue yeah yes. was that the big drop or yes that's what got barbecue you was my pick <laughs> <laughs> that's what made me pick Texas is it all you is it all you hoped for <laughs> <laughs> well it turned, up, it turned up pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> good on you. Um, do you have a favorite barbecue restaurant? Or several? I actually, I'm going to surprise you, but I have learned to be a Texan. I barbecue myself. Oh, right. Yes. Uh, but uh, you, you, can, you can find nice places downtown Austin. Uh, but I love one place in... Uh, um, this uh, what 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 is the city where I go to? Uh, Manor. Yeah. Yeah. Manor and uh, and Bastrop. Ooh, they they have a good barbecue there too. They know what they're doing. Yes, they know what they're doing. <laughs> <laughs> they do know. 
Okay, so moving to Texas, um, you knew a little bit about our state before you got here. Mm -hmm. what, what was a surprise when you when you came? What, what was unexpected? The modern side of Texas, because I lived in Houston, mm -hmm. which I call my hometown. Yeah. I spent seven years there. I love Houston. It's so wide and big. Yeah. So I was surprised by that. The roads. Oh, they're like 20 lanes across. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it was a shock. And also the fact that there were more diversity than I thought. Yeah. You know, because when I thought Texas, uh, I thought white cowboys, uh, cowboys uh, on a horse. On, on, on the horses <laughs> most of the time. And, and, and the, the, the difference and the shock was, was, was huge. And I, and I thought, this is, this is a city country. It's not a country country like I thought it was. Yeah. So it was kind of a disappointment. But uh, you fall in love with Texas because you, have, you find out that this different part of Texas. Texas is big. Mm -hmm. Houston is a big city. It's like a country all yeah. in itself. Now, the Greater Texas Southern, I was living in in most suburb, I, I may say, the south of Houston, uh, southwest. And I ended up moving a little bit southern in Rosenberg, Texas. Mm -hmm. That's when it started to change. I started to see, when driving, I started to see cows yeah. on the road and the green grass. <laughs> see, I fell in love with the country when I was around nine to ten years old mm -hmm. my mama she sent us to meet another side of our family where I, where I learned how to speak Lumbu yeah the different Lumbu and it's lakes it's green it's it's just the, the forest the jungle the, you see what you don't see in a city and it's different you get drawn into this part of life she she took me hunt she took me fishing in the lake, which you don't do in a city. Right. You know? and, and I fell in love with it. So when I went back, it was hard to, to forget about that, mm -hmm. you know. And, it was uh, in your soul. Yes, yes. So coming to Texas and driving into those little towns, I start living the same, having the same feelings when I was a kid and, and that's what that's the most thing that made me fall in love with Texas. So ideally will you one day live out in the country? Is that what you want to do? Yes. Oh yes. Get some like cattle ranch. Yes. Chickens. Chickens. Cows. Grow some alfalfa. Yes sir. Yeah me too. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, 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 Invite me over for a barbecue. <laughs> oh yeah of course. Of course. Of course. Of course. And I found out the the culture is Texas is hard work, yeah. And this is the core of what I felt that human beings have to be hard workers, <clears throat> always uh, cherish the earth, cherish what the nature that God gave us. So, yeah. so I love that with Texas. That's that's the part of the Texans that I am. You're gonna stay, huh? No, of course. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So speaking of. Uh, Unique Texas things. I like to ask people, have you ever heard of this expression? Like these are old fashioned expressions that people have been saying for hundreds of years. Okay. And, and it's okay if you have them because they're not that common anymore, especially in the cities. I uh, know. But I, I want you to guess, what do you think it would mean if someone said, he's all hat and no cattle? All hat and no cattle. <laughs> it's an insult, I'll tell you that. Seriously. Yeah. I don't have a clue. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's, that's a way of saying he pretends to be a rancher, but he doesn't really have any cattle. In other words, he's he's arrogant. He acts like he's more than he really should be, and he he's really got nothing to brag about. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, hey, I'm learning. I'm learning something here. All right, I'll have no cattle. Try to try to use that in conversation. And then, um, what would it mean if someone said we're fixing to wrestle? We're fixing to wrestle. Yeah. Well, I understand <laughs> fixing because. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, you, you, you have to come come across that. Yeah. You know, you at first, 
I didn't know what it meant. <laughs> but with time, fixing is I'm about to. Right. 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 Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and how about wrestle? Wrestle. What is it? Yeah, it's just wrestle. It's just wrestling. Another pronunciation of, of wrestle. So fixing to wrestle oh. means we're about to get in a we're fight. We're going to fight. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> so, so if you told me you're all had no cattle, I would say we're fixing to wrestle. <laughs> We're fixing a wrestle. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. That's totally Texan. Yeah, go throw it out in public. Uh, <laughs> no, I, I got to refrain to that. <laughs> Only if you want to wrestle. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. So um, I'm also wondering, um, do you have you gotten to travel around the state and see any like famous uh, landmarks or um, tourist attractions that you can recommend? Like if someone comes to Texas, they have to see what? Well, with history, they have to see the Alamo mm -hmm. in San Antonio. Okay. Me, of course, first thing first, coming to Houston, I'm attracted to Nassau. Yeah, yeah I went to visit Nassau. Uh, it's a must go mm -hmm. to, because, you know, that's the future, that's, that's the wonderland. Mm -hmm. And every kid dreams about space. So, <laughs> yes. So yeah, you had to visit NASA, which is a, which is a, a very good place to visit. I um, I went to Dallas. I went to Dallas because I wanted to see where JFK got shot. Oh yeah. Yes, it's a monument. And also, this is new, but you have to go see the Dallas Cowboys Stadium. Yeah. It's unique in the world. Uh, Are you a big see, football fan? Yes. I'm a Cowboys fan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good. Uh, you have to go see Six Flags, the River Walk in San Antonio. Yeah. Have you gone to any of the beaches? Yes, but it was different. I went to a beach close to uh, Clear Lake, Texas, mm -hmm. and um, also uh, South Texas, going 59 South. That's uh, the city is that's the home the home of Whataburger oh Corpus Christi Corpus Christi <laughs> there you go <laughs> did you go to the two story Whataburger there <laughs> yes sir yes sir cause 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 I'm a fan of Whataburger <laughs> <laughs> you're more Texan than I am I get one <laughs> you won <laughs> I won that part yeah huh? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but I've been there too. And across from that is the monument to Selena, the singer. Yes, we always stop by and pay tribute. Um, so tell me if uh, if I run into somebody from Gabon and I want to say to them, if I just want to say hello in French, how do I say it? The easiest part would be Molo, 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 Molo. What language is that? That's all languages in Gabon says that. They share say it. that. Okay. Yes. Molo, Molo. Molo. You just say Molo. Molo. Mm -hmm. And that's like hi. Hi. You can use it for anybody? For anybody. Molo. Molo. Okay. And that's weird because all of ethnic groups say that. Huh. Yeah. Well, that's handy. Uh -huh. <laughs> Molo. How do you say welcome to Texas? Welcome to Texas in. It's going to be hard. We can stick with French. That's, yeah. that's easier for me. That's right. <laughs> Bienvenue au Texas. Bienvenue à Texas. Oui. Ah. Bienvenue au Texas. All right. Uh, in one of our language, hmm, I will use Billy. Okay. I would say, uh, it's, it's difficult because the word welcome is not translated in in Vili, huh. in our languages. It's just... Uh, oh, I love words that you can't translate. Yeah. Those are fascinating. Yes. <laughs> yes, I would say... Weke mu Texas. Weke mu Texas. Weke. Mbolo. Weke mu Texas. Weke mu Texas. Weke mu Texas. I hope I get a chance to use that someday. <laughs> yeah. You, you will. Uh, if, you, if you visit with me. Okay. Yeah. We can go hang out and look for people to talk to. That's right. That's right. I have plenty of them. <laughs> All right. Okay. So last question. Mm -hmm. um, what What do you wish people um, knew about uh, welcoming people from 
Central Africa to Texas? Like, what, what, what could we do to make you more comfortable here? When you first got here, the people who made you feel most comfortable, what were they like? Seriously? Yeah. I mean, the people that made me feel more comfortable, they were about family. Yeah? Yeah. Because what you miss more when you're away from home is family. You know? And uh, they embraced me. I don't know if I can mention it, but they were Mormons. Uh -huh. Yes. They, they were about family and love, you know? So that's, that's what made me more comfortable. And they just treated you like a member of the family? Correct. Had you over for dinner? Yes. Was it barbecue? It was everything. <laughs> it was barbecue too. Yeah. Yes. And, and, and this, this is very important for people that travel meet others that can relate and yeah. and and that that had me as a supporting group of friends yeah. to make me feel like home and uh, the only thing you have to do anywhere in the world i believe is to is to treat people the same you know and treat them like family yeah <laughs> do you know what texas means oh does it mean something? Yeah. No. It was a, a Caddo word from one of the indigenous nations here, and it means friend. No way. That's, that's, the, that's the urban legend anyways. I don't know if it's true. But that one of the early Spaniards who was visiting, they addressed him as uh, Texas. Okay. And, and that was their word for friend. That's even bigger than I thought. Yeah. That's, that's it's meaningful, right? <laughs> it is so meaningful for me. You know, you gave me something very deep <laughs> <laughs> about Texas. Good. It's a huge land. means friend. Yeah. I love it. I love it too. <laughs> All right. Thanks hey, for coming in. Thank you, Marco, for inviting me. Thanks a lot.